Rav, one hour ago. 20,000 views in an hour. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be lit, boys. Sod, but it's hardcore, and if you die, you delete your character. Yes. So, guys, yes, it's happening. We're doing Sod Hardcore. That was the big announcement, all right, that we've been hinting at this past week or so. This is gonna be very fun, all right? Yes, Sod's been very fun, but me going back to Hardcore this last week, finishing the Zarbarian run, made me realize how amazing Hardcore really is. So now we're doing Sodcore, baby, all right? Um, with a twist. Well, I I'm sure he'll probably explain it in this video. So let without further ado, let's check it out. Attention gamers. When Blizzard announced that they would be rolling out Sod, I was just as happy as the next guy and even though launch gave me three straight days where I was fully erect in game, I noticed it starting to create a rift between the classic community. On yeah. one end you have the hardcore Andes who had just spent months convincing today's streamers to play a 20 year old game who weren't happy about Sod ripping their raid roster apart. Uh, yeah. And on the other end you have Mr. I just did my 659th straight Warsong Gulch which is only tolerable because I'm playing a full lobby of the Sod God class. Yeah. And as someone who grew up in a big loving family in this game I felt like a middle child in a divorce so I came up with an idea. Which was to let the devs of the hardcore add-on extort me for donations to make it work for Sod and time will tell if I just got ripped off. <laughs> Introducing the newest evolution of Classic WoW. Oh, so Season good. of Discovery. But it's SSF Hardcore. With a twist. Yeah. Because Sod is great but there's just something about those hardcore close calls that make your gooch hairs stand straight up in attendance. Bruh. Yes, yes. <gasps> oh, shh. Yes, dude, yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, Zarbarian! Oh no! Um, dude, no way! The editing, the editing. Saved by a squirrel, baby. Yeah! Oh, the, the rap editing is so good, man. Oh yeah. my gosh, what a rush! Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's why I love hardcore right there, man. Yep. So live as of right now, Sod Hardcore is on the Realm Lava Lash and here are the Lava rules. Lava Lash, baby. All characters must use the hardcore add-on, yep. which gives you all the standard old school hardcore vibes. Yep. No trading, no auction house, no mail, no grouping outside of dungeons, and finally death equals delete. But seeing as Sod runes may have made the game slightly easier for people where mages are running themselves through dungeons, their level and warlocks are soloing raids, I've added a hardcore twist. For full glory, me and my guild will not be allowed to equip any item obtained from quest rewards. And lastly, you must never toggle off RP walk. No, just kidding. No, okay, I'm kidding about okay, that thank last you, part. Thank you, Rav. I've already recruited hundreds of people to join this adventure, including some of your favorite streamers and Mitch. Oh, mustard. Come and on. I will be live myself. <laughs> Wait, has Mitch seen this video yet? <laughs> Oh, that's so good. Streamers, and Mitch, oh, mustard, come and I on. will be live myself here to tell my part of the story. The tale of Tater Totems. <laughs> tater Totems. Episode now 1. Now to answer the first question many of you will have. The best way to join the official Sodcore guild is to slash whisper this guy for an invite. I'm paying him 16 copper a day to stay online <laughs> so that us streamers can focus on more intense matters. <laughs> Anyways, this upright cow oh, town is it. all about impressing the elders, and the first way to do that is apparently through some cougars, the main one being named Mila. I go say what up girl just to see that she is clearly embracing oh. the new Twitch TOS rules, but she also teaches me how to give my weapons their own gravitational pull so that little cat turds can orbit them and then she tells me there's a few evolved pigs wearing dresses south and if I slide into enough of the dead ones DMs I may just discover my first room. The only problem is my rules said I can't equip quest rewards so I had no chest to put this on until oh, later when one of those yeah. Hogwarts swines let me borrow their dress. Which unlocked- Alright guys, so, just to clarify, any quest reward you can't use. Period. So, what that means is the only items that you can actually equip are items that you find on the ground from mobs. Since it's self-found, there's no trading, no auction house, no mailbox, none of that. So the only item you can put on is from the ground. Now, what does that mean? What that means is when you get a green item or a blue item or an epic item later in Sod, it is going to feel like the biggest dopamine rush to the damn brain you've ever felt in your life. Like when you have like no waste on and then you find a green belt, 
Oh yeah, you can craft. You can craft gear. True, you can craft gear. Yeah, that's fine. You can craft. That's fine. You guys are right. So crafting or um, finding it, it's just going to be like the biggest dopamine hit ever. Yeah. You could buy it from a vendor technically. Yeah, I, I guess there's other ways besides that, but no quest loot. Okay, yes. Locked overload aka the thunder Tourette's where I would occasionally earn myself a boba deal on lightning bolts. Another one. Another one. Another one. This was dank until Mr. Hawkwind and his daughter that I was trying to riz up both gave me errands to go back to the place I just finished to complete the genocide and the lack of concern for my time pissed me off and these pigs were gonna pay the price for it. Yes sir. My sexy stepsister Seer then gave me some hallucinogens called Septa and was all like Bro. drink it in front of the Godzilla turd we preserved in the backyard if you want the acid trip of your life and I've gotta say it had me seeing some weird shit. Long story short, this gave me the ability to stick a bedazzled twig in the ground. And you already know what had to be done. And with that, Tater and his first round of totems had outrun his hometown. I reached the city of Tall Wooden Poles where I was given so many honeydews that my map was more marked up than Post Malone's face and I just knew there were some intense battles ahead. But as I was finishing up a round of Hey Girl I'll Be Chris Brown You Be Rihanna with a local wolf I noticed a foreigner to the land of Mulgore seemingly stuck in a power pose as his most recent enemy was running off to tell a friend that the blue guy over there just gave him a wedgie. I've read this book before and I knew just how it ends for Mr. Hey Mon. Good night. Oh. 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 Unless there's a hero to save him. Get him Totem! This guy probably wasn't playing hardcore, but uh, it's still pretty epic. To which he left me with his tagged mob and then flat out ignored me when I tried to give him some much needed parenting. Thank you. You say thank you. And after that, the next time I saw some mooing moron over pull, I figured I would just stand there and watch. Until he was safe, then I would make him think I helped him so that I could nab that chest he worked so hard to get. Kill tripping. W. He got a green pouch! Oh, I told him course, the loot was man. trash so that he didn't feel bad despite copping a clutch Shrek scrotum from it. <laughs> Nothing good. But me treating others like League of Legends players was about to backfire as a minute later when Burger King invited me for a group I obviously left him on read because of the hardcore rules but in my mind that didn't mean he couldn't help me so after I accidentally nabbed a tag from him I intentionally scammed him out of a second only for me to realize that Earthshock is a taunt and now I'd be filming an episode of Two Harpies One Dead Rav. And the thing I love about SSF Hardcore is that it turns every chest into potential pots of pure dopamine because the greens yep. in these were now almost as valuable as those in AG1 even if the stats suck because my Wait, is, is Rav sponsored by AG1 as well? Oh my, shout out to AG1, massive sponsor of the stream, let's go baby! And if the stats suck because my character was so weak at this point every two pull had to be played like a 2200 rating arena. Yep. That's why it's fun. That's why self found's fun. It's so good this way, man. It becomes strategic from the get. This made the fact that I then had to go splunking a bit scary and not two minutes later when the entire extended family of coal miners wanted to it's tip on my quest. taint, I was all like, call me a German car maker because I'm Audi. And with that, after a few more minutes of pissing off vegans, I did it. I hit level 10 which meant that Shami Sensei would send me on a business trip nice. and it wasn't going to be pleasant. I spent days walking through those plains, into a barren desert, following Sensei's directions to a T. I reached a crossroads, mentally, deciding if I had it in me to keep going until days later after walking further than a young David Goggins could only dream of. I reached he whose name sounds like anal fishers who is all like dope Cranal. now you need to keep walking until you find my drug dealer on the top of a carrot cake flavored mountain. Who you be? He will have you grab a few ingredients and then he'll make you goo lamb's famous ganja and it wasn't going to be easy. This involved going in deadly caves full of Hogwarts orcs and their domesticated dobbies and dealing I've with weaponized porcupines like who hung out in dangerously Shaman congested quest. areas. 
Troll tits was all like this will be the chief of your life just go to that smiling cyclops stone and the best way I can describe the experience is, it's fire. But this was when I realized that my hardcore challenge with no quest yeah, loot may this. have made things too hard. Bro, are those all mobs? He's, oh, they don't aggro or something. Hopefully it's not too hard. Hopefully, it, like, when we were discussing the rules, we wanted it to be, like, really hard, but not, like, impossible. So hopefully the difficulty with the no quest loot is just right. Bruh. Run, t totems, run! Okay, we're good. Easy clap. There we go, baby. So after days of walking, retrieving meth head ingredients from deadly places, and almost dying while fighting off an MMA trained ball of fire that I hallucinated, I unlocked the full power of sticking two twigs in the ground at the same time. Hell yeah. But this power had to be put to the test so I went to a local cliff anus to scheme with one of my homeboys who told me this fucked up story about a family a who injected so many roids into their pet beagle that the thing went rogue is unrecognizable and is now so deadly that there's a literal hardcore achievement to kill it before reaching level 12. I decided to ride a floating wooden elevator oh, yeah, into a achieves. city that plays a piss poor poker game because everyone knows it's full of bluffs where I would meet up with some guy cosplaying a rogue trainer. He would have me go back to that same cave I pussied out of earlier to be a dick and light some fireworks inside. Happy then New he Year. was all like dank your next job is to kill the moaning hookers with wings up north and clean up any dog turds in the yard while you are at it. The final step was for me to rub one out in front of this pond with my left hand to prove that I had the coordination to hold a weapon in both hands and I was ready. Out of solidarity for my fellow Sodcore Conrad I would first watch Guilty J Wub's attempt at the solo which Let's was going well until my viewing party got interrupted by the local petting yeah. zoo. No help, help equals he delete, barely bro. survived the initiation into manhood and warned me of how scary it felt before it was my turn to take the plunge. Yeah, no help, no help, help equals delete boys. Solo self found for a reason. Come on Tater, come on Tater. Oh. Man, he's putting his neck into it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and with that, the first victory of many had taken place. Warrior, I copped my achievement looked at the bis pants for my level that I am not allowed to use. Oh yeah, I can't but use This it. would prove that no challenge would be too hard for the great tater totems and his multiple sticks in the ground. Beautiful. Guys, that is the new series this here it is man it's sodcore no quest loot allowed lava lash sodcore is the guild whisper who is it tater totems for an invite what else do we need to know download the hardcore add-on it's solo self found glory only help equals delete bro all right um shit what else is there i mean do you guys have any questions I mean, that's, is that it? Like, that's pretty much it. Is it only NA? Yeah, it's Lava Lash NA. If someone wants to start on EU, I know, I think Guzu might be playing on NA as well, though. Um, how is not using quest items tracked? That's a good question. The not using quest item is uh, more of a self-imposed rule. If you don't want to do it, I guess technically nobody would catch you. You would be able to fool them all. But this is a challenge for fun, so uh, you would just be a dumbass. All right. Uh, when is this happening? Uh, we're starting right now.